this lesson we will look at the conventions and the formula for arithmetic and geometric sequences in grade 11. So first off, our notation. A is your first term. D is the difference between, for instance, your first and second term. For instance, like u2 minus u1 is the difference between the second and the first term. Let's look at three terms. Our first term is, of course, a. Our second one is a plus the difference. And so on. a plus 2d, a plus 3d. And there would be an example of how to do this question. You may be asked for the fifth, sixth, and seventh term or beyond. So in that way, that would help to figure out an aspect of that in the question. Let's look at our nth term. There's a formula for this. A plus n minus 1d. Our sum. So adding up a number of terms. That number would be n over 2. Bracket 2a plus your n minus 1d. Close bracket. You may also have uh, another version for the sum where it's the same n over 2, first and last. So first term plus e to the n, perhaps. That would be first and last. That might be useful as well as a little shortcut with some questions. They are the arithmetic sequence ideas and formula that will help you in grade 11. Geometric. Again, A is the first term. And instead of D, we have R, which is known as a common ratio. So, Arithmetic is to do adding and subtracting, just to keep it simple. And with geometric, you would be like multiplying, dividing. So the ratio, the difference between them. An example for this, in the same way we would show it with arithmetic, is to demonstrate the first few terms. First term is A. Second term is A times R to the power of 1. And then AR squared, AR cubed, AR to the power of 4, and so on. So AR n minus 1. So that's our nth term. AR, we just put a bracket here, n minus 1. And then we have, I suppose, two sums. The sum of a sequence geometric sequence, A, and it could be 1 minus Rn, I'm going to put it like this, I'll just do it one, or, so there's an aspect of this where convergence or divergence, you may need to take note, if your ratio is greater than 1, or it's going to be a fraction, we'll say, you just want to be careful in terms of you know, or minus 1 or 1 minus or. And we'll look at that in one example and you'll see. And lastly is the sum to infinity, which actually looks like a simple formula, really. A over 1 minus or. One last little part, just to demonstrate the common ratio. You can take... So u just denoting one of the terms 
if you take the second term and divide by the first, in terms of a ratio, of course, that would be the equivalent of the third divided by the second. And that may help with certain questions. Again, just like we said in the arithmetic sequence, if you had to find or were given uh, unknown values with the sixth, seventh, and eighth term. For example, you could find how they are related and how the relationship works between them by finding the ratio with that. And that was the formula and the notation for geometric sequences in AS Mathematics, grade 11.